Hey, welcome back to another video. Uh, when I shot this, it was a really busy New Year's weekend, so full disclosure, it was shot over the course of like three days, and I tried to make it look like one the best I could for continuity's sake, but it may be, it may look a little choppy, but anyway, I hope you enjoy it. It's my first time shooting film um, in roughly 24 years. I've been on a vibe kind of hard to describe. I'm in between I'm good and it's fine, but I'm tired of the grind. Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle of the time of my life. I'm never so packed for the stack, never lied on the back. Hey, what's up? I think it's time for another photo adventure. <laughs> and the reason I say I think is because it's highly dependent on the rain. It's been raining all day today. It was raining all day yesterday. It was sunny the day before that, but the day before that it was raining. So there's been a lot of rain and um, I'm gonna use this old Canon FTB film camera with some Ilford FP4 Plus ISO 125 black and white film that my dad gave me um, to get some, I was thinking that I could get some nice black and white contrasty photos over at LACMA since it's not too far I can walk there and it's raining so there'll be some reflections which would be even cooler but it is an old mechanical non-weather sealed camera so the rain has to let up significantly before I can go. That's also why I have my contacts in because you know wearing glasses in the rain trying to shoot photos is a pain. Uh, but let me just give you an example. I, I don't know if you'll be able to see this because the window's wet but look, just look how much rain there's been. Yeah, you, you can't tell. So there's a drain right there. There's an outlet right there. And I cleaned the drain and plugged the sump pump in when there was only just a, like a little bit of water and it can't keep up. There's now about two inches of water back there. And in the driveway, there's like, oop, sorry. In the driveway, there's like an inch and a quarter or so. Hopefully it lets up so it can all drain by tomorrow. Anyway, if it stops, I'm going. If it continues to rain, I'm going to stay here. I'm going to save a couple exposures for tomorrow. Tomorrow's supposed to be nice and sunny. And I'm either going to go over here to Kenneth Hahn State Recreation Area or Baldwin Hills Scenic Overlook and use the FD, which is an older lens for the FDB, uh, an FD 100 to 200 millimeter f5.6 lens to see if I can use the last two or so exposures on a telephoto shot of downtown with snow on the mountains. It is raining down here, which means snow up there, so I should be able to get downtown LA with a nice snowy backdrop, which ought to look good in black and white as well. All right, so I'm not gonna go. It's, the rain's not letting up. It's not gonna quit till like 10 p.m. now. And uh, I'm just gonna try and make the best of whatever I can get tomorrow. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get up and I'm still gonna do the telephoto shots and then after that, I'll probably go down to LACMA and see if I can just get something there during the daytime, which will be a little bit easier since the, the film isn't super sensitive. It's kind of slow. So anyway, we'll see what. In, in the meantime, I'm going to try to find a way to take my trash out, put it in the bins, and then get the bins to the street through the big giant puddle of water. Yay. Going swimming. Take my trash out. Oh, joy. I think I got waterproof boots. Yes, the drains are clean. I know it, because I cleaned them. And yes, the sump is plugged in, and it works. I can hear it right now. It just doesn't work well enough. shots got the FTV set up probably can't see it oh you can see through there look at that should make an interesting black and white photo and then I'm going to do some telephotos with the Fujifilm all right so I'm arrived here at Kenneth Hall and you can see
Martin Luther King Memorial is a very hopping space today. And uh, got the FTB framed up. We're gonna do it first. Then I'm gonna do some telephoto shots on the uh, on this Fuji film. Just in time, you can see the snow is fantastic. And there's clouds and there's mist. and and the sun is just getting to be just right about now to where there's getting some golden reflections off the building. So this is looking really good, really excited. And you can see there's some friends here. It's Tim right there. Jose is over there by the monument. That's the shot right there. Got some mist, snow, clouds. Some beautiful New Year's Eve here at Kenneth Hahn. So, I'm gonna get some telephoto shots with the X-T4 real quick and then I'm gonna probably head home. And then later on, I might go to LACMA for some film photography there. We'll see. It just depends on if I get my laundry done or not. Good morning, happy new year to you. It is January 1st, 2022. Coming in? And it's time, I think, for some photo adventures. And I say I think because basically everything the last four days or so hasn't gone to plan. I've gotten other stuff, but it's just like, you know, when one thing doesn't work out, something else pops up and you know, so, you know, I end up getting photos and videos and stuff like that, but it's just not what I uh, originally intended on doing. So anyway, I'm not sure what's going on, but there's one thing I do know is I'm going to try some photography with this Canon FTB 35 millimeter film camera. <laughs> All right, so I'm here at Urban Light and I'm using this old Canon FTB 35 millimeter film camera that's been in the family for like, I guess I'm the third generation, right? So my grandfather and my mom, now me. Three, that's three, right? <laughs> uh, so anyway, I'm here just trying to get some contrasty photos because um, I haven't done, I'm relearning film photography. So when I was, you know, a, a young kid, probably like ages five to 12, film was the standard. I used film a lot, mostly ASA or ISO 400 speed film and Kodak disposable cameras. I really didn't know anything about dials and settings, but now that uh, I've been doing more advanced digital photography work for about five years, I really understand how this works. Uh, the only difference is I can't review the photo after I take it. So that's a little bit of a challenge and we're gonna see how this turns out. My dad came to visit me for the holidays, my mom and dad and they got me some of their old go-to film, which is uh, Ilford FP4 Plus ISO 125 black and white. So as bright as it is, I think with it being black and white, we won't have too much to worry about, especially since it's relatively slow speed film anyway. So this is a good area. There's a lot of shadows, a lot of light, lamps, and then there's shadows over here and there's a big rock. There's plenty of stuff to take pictures of. So I think we'll get some nice, good contrasty photos on this black and white while I relearn it. And then later you can look forward to a video of me comparing this 35 millimeter film with color film to a modern day Canon R6 full frame sensor. And we'll see what the difference is in almost 50 years of technology. I will also be taking these old lenses and putting them on the R6 and seeing what a new digital photograph with an old lens looks like. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Is that film camera? Mm-hmm. Thank you. I 
of wanted to get one on the corner where it says Wilshire and Fairfax, but I don't know if I can get it in the same frame on a 50 mil. There it is, Dunzo. All right, sorry about the abrupt ending, but that was it. Um, don't really have much else to say, so I will leave you with a few more photos that I took of my dog and around the house that are on the same roll of film that weren't in the video. All right, see you next time.